theories are back ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel here today and we're back from the walking dead final season episode two suffer the children prediction video here today it has been a couple days since my last theory remember we had the live stream of the walking dead panel and we had the gameplay check those if you missed those or missed any information regards to those description down below card in the top right make sure to go vote down below in the description for our next video topic there's a lot of good stuff so today's topic is going to be whether i believe aj is turning evil based on the events of episode one and some of the teaser stuff we'd seen in episode two that was just shown this past week we are only almost two weeks away until the walking dead final season episode two this upcoming tuesday will be two weeks until episode one so if you want to do me a favor, smack a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and make sure to comment down below whether you do believe AJ is turning evil or not. And let's go for 1,000 likes. And I, th I want to thank you all so much. We had 1.3K likes on the last video. Let's see if we can get 1,000 again and keep that trend going. And I want to thank you all for watching. And again, catch you all next one. So, firstly, before I can really get into AJ specifically, I have to need to talk about the ending and how I think that will lead into the discussion here so spoiler warning for episode one done running i really didn't get to talk about the ending in depth before since you know i didn't do a review or anything on episode one but the ending was hella shocking to me because i knew time has passed since season three and i knew aj and clementine had been on the road for a while and i never would have thought in my imagination that i'd seen aj do what he did I honestly was shocked. I didn't think it was going to happen. I knew AJ was a savage when he pulled the gun on Abel in that. I didn't think, you know, I knew AJ was a little gutsy, but this action that he did shooting Marlon in the head was probably one of the most shocking things I could have imagined. Now, some people say I wouldn't, I'm not surprised AJ was just defending Clementine. You know, it wasn't really that, you know, bad of a thing, but to really think Clementine, you know, based on your dialogue options, you could either kick Marlon out or keep him prisoner, which I would have thought would have been a really cool thing. But instead, AJ somehow, I mean, the camera had a, a, a viewpoint of him, snuck up behind Marlon when Marlon, after he dropped the gun, picked up the gun and shot him in the head, cold-blooded. And everyone's like looking at AJ like, are you freaking kidding me, dude? And same with me, I told you the last video, I was pissing my pants. It wasn't actually, but still. You get my point. That was... It was so shocking. Nobody... I didn't expect it. Did anyone else expect it? If you did, man, props to you. But I did not expect a damn cold killing like that. And what I think might lead into why this evil thing is even coming up is the past couple years. The flashbacks, the McCarroll Ranch, these dreams... AJ has been hardened by something that happened at the McHale Ranch. There was some, and we'll probably might find out in this episode, or maybe even episode 3. But the McHale Ranch, I think, is a huge, huge look back that needs to be answered and to see, explain what happened to AJ and Clementine. But, really, AJ, what, were these people evil? Maybe these people were evil. And that's just the thing. We don't know if the, I mean, it seems like the people in the ranch were nice. The ranch was nice before the blood. So maybe, again, AJ had to do something horrific at the McHale Ranch, and he's not phased anymore by it. But you could tell, even after when you see, just throughout the episode, you could just see him progressively get more and more tough, hard-nosed. You know, I just, I felt it. I, I felt in his character, though, the more things were going down and down, he's, I mean, he said... Hey, we're safe here, but then at the end, man, he just shoots Marlon in the head. That's like, are you serious? You can't be kidding me with that. So, I mean, the the evil thing is an interesting topic because with the shooting in the head, it's a possibility. Remember, he could be Carver's son, and Carver is Carver and AJ. You know, that's a very interesting topic. A lot of people bring me. He's people are saying, oh, he's not, he's Carver's son because he did that. Now, I don't really know, again, 100% if he's Alvin or Carver's son, but it looks like based on skin color and stuff, he's Alvin's son. But Carver could, I mean, even though, they're, maybe, maybe not, maybe not, they could, he could have a factor. There's factors that could be placed. Remember, he's either Carver's or he's Alvin's son. So, 
that's just something we got to think about there. I mean, which one? Personally, do we know? Probably not. But think about, he just look at that face right there. I mean, he, he just, he, he's not phased. And that's why I said, a kid usually this age, Clementine, when she was about his age, I mean, she was even older, she seemed a little more scared until about the end when, you know, when Lee was about to die. She just, I mean, she, Clementine was never really, really, I should say, scared. But she wasn't as, you know, she wouldn't have just shot somebody in the head like that, out of cold blood, like AJ did. Now, she shot the stranger in a determinate choice, but, again, that was just not in front of a bunch of people. And, again, the stranger was trying to kill Lee. Now, Marlon was trying to threaten the group. We could say there's some similarities there, but still, just absolute savage. Now, let's go into the episode two thing, because I want to talk about that and why it could impact AJ as well. So we need to talk about the gameplay that we had seen a couple days ago. Now, the first thing that stick out that even confirms more potentiality of villain is that he continuously talks about how he wants to be tougher, stay awake, defend off evil people. But I feel like he could be he could be sided on the wrong side. I feel he's a little more aggressive than he needs to be in some cases. Like an example, the Marlin case. And even in the Abel choice, if Clementine actually could tell, hey, shoot shoot Abel. AJ without hesitation might you know he goes for the might go for the shot. And we know he's he's changing. This is like I said, your choices define what he will become. They literally said that in the first five minutes of the episode. His choice, your choices as Clementine will define what he will become. And I think if you don't teach him the right ways and stuff, he could become a villain. He could become evil. I won't say he would kill Clementine, but he could kill more quote unquote friendlies. What if he doesn't trust Lewis? What if he doesn't trust Violet? What if he doesn't trust some other returning character that comes in? He could kill someone else just like that. You know, they get on Clem's wrong side, maybe in a little fight. They go a little crazy. He'll just shoot him in the head. And I, that's why I said, it's the beginning. It's the beginning phase of AJ could be coming evil. That shooting could be only the, be like, quote unquote, the beginning of his shift into becoming an evil character now he won't be the villain he won't be a like no he's still gonna be with clementine no matter what at the end of the day but friendly people better watch out aj is not messing around with anybody and that's that is 100 percent confirmed but he wants to stay up all the time he wants to be more protective he wants to go on watch you just see examples like this in this gameplay that gives you a hint he's and he want you know even though he's you know clementine says hey you're still little aj he doesn't want to be little anymore. He's, he, I mean, he's he's tough. This kid is not just, you know, you can't underestimate him anymore. After after what I saw in episode one at the end, I can't underestimate AJ anymore. I'm, I'm afraid what he's going to do next. Will he do something even more crazy? For example, we can do a fight with the Raider group. Does he shoot one of the Raiders and then all out war starts? You could just imagine something like that happening. But... You know, we don't know. We don't know. We got to see what happens in the next episode. And that's why I said, at the end of the day, player choice might be the reason that this becomes a thing. So if you guys don't want AJ to become evil, you might want to not make such aggressive choices. If you make aggressive choices, I think AJ could become evil. And player choice may not determine it. Maybe AJ will become evil no matter what. Maybe he'll just... Again, evil as not being against Clementine, because Clementine, no matter what, at the end of the day, Clementine and AJ will be together. But can Clementine defend AJ with all these actions if he keeps doing dumb, I shouldn't say dumb, uh, crazy actions like shooting Marlin, shooting another person, uh, maybe making some rash decision like that? Can Clementine continue to defend that? Will there be a punishment for AJ? Again, like I talked about in some other video, what will happen to AJ in episode two after the shooting? Will there be a punishment? How will Telltale have AJ's character evolve from this shooting in episode one? And how do the past choices of the McCarroll Ranch and stuff along those seasons impact AJ? So I just wanted to talk about this. I really can't go that much in that because we need to see more in episode two to really really go full circle to see if AJ really could make that step into being evil now in my opinion 
I don't believe AJ will become full out evil, but I do believe he is progressively getting more and more, I wouldn't say crazy, but a little more aggressive than needs to be. And if this continues on, he could step into something Clementine may not be able to defend or control anymore. He may just be a loose cannon and something that might be a risk to the group at the end of the day. So, I just like I said, I think though he will get more and more aggressive and Clementine may not be able to defend him if more and more of this stuff happens. I don't think he'll be turned evil, but there's the shift that you continue to see throughout the episode one and now we could probably end up seeing it throughout episode two and what happens you know running into new characters more people like Abel just I can see more of it no doubt in my mind so I want to thank you all so much for the support lately guys show we just hit 128,000 subscribers on the channel um, if you guys have any questions or comments uh, in regards to future videos uh, theories make sure you leave them down below and please leave me down in the comments if you guys think AJ is going to be evil or not in future episodes and what do you think what will impact that what certain choices is it you know the past with Carver Alvin the McHale Ranch or is it gonna be the future actions such as like the with the Raider group and what they're gonna be doing and stuff you know that we'd see in the episode two with him wanting to be more tough and go on patrol and all this other stuff so thank you all again for watching. Make sure to go over down below in the description for the next video. And I want to thank you all so much for your support. And again, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. You win. I can't.